Today, I want to explain you how to factory reset your Mac. What does that mean? That means we're gonna erase everything from your Mac and we're gonna set it in the same state it was when you buy it. We're gonna erase everything. So take your files, if you have important files, take it, put it on a hard drive, an external hard drive, put it on Dropbox, uh, Google Drive, anything, put it out of your Mac because we're gonna erase it. If you have problem with your Mac, we want to erase everything and start as a new one. Don't use, um, don't use a time machine backup because if you have corruption in your Mac and you restart with the saves with the corruption, well, we will not solve the problem. So if what you want is to solve the problem with your Mac because it is slow, because you have virus, because you have something in your Mac, the best way to do it is to factory reset it and start as a new one. Of course, you will be able to take your files and put it back in the computer, that's fine. But now what we want to do is to erase everything and start as a new one. So take everything out. Now, if you want to sold your computer and sell it as a new computer uh, with nothing in because you don't want your file to be in, well, that's fine. But, uh, you know, even if we erase your data, there is still a possibility that a crack can go get the file. That's possible. That's the bad things about selling is computer. Um, if you want to really erase uh, the stuff on your hard drive, well, that's something we can do, uh, but that's not what I'm gonna explain today. Today, we will start your Mac as a brand new Mac. That's it. Let's do this. So everything begins with a shutdown Mac. So shut it down, then press on power to boot it up and immediately hold Common and R like Romeo. Hold it until you see the Apple logo, and I like to hold it a few more seconds, just to be sure. Now, we wait for the loading bar to be completed. It may take a minute or two, in which I will shut down the light so we can see the screen instead of the reflection and the dust. Yeah, I know, I should clean it. So let's fast forward this until we reach that screen. Yeah, I know everything is in French, but don't worry, you can't go wrong. Just press the same logo, and the maximum text button you will see side by side is 2. And I will speak the name in English. So the first option is to reinstall it from a time machine backup. Do it only if you have a good backup with no trouble. The second is to reinstall macOS, but we will wait a bit for that. Before, we have to delete everything, and that happens in Disk Utility. All your data is in Macintosh HD, so select it and hit the Erase button. Keep the default name and the default format, which is macOS Extended Journal. Finally, hit Erase. Very quick process, everything is already erased, so hit Done. If you want, you can click the SOS button just to make sure that your hard drive has no error. In my case, everything is good. We can now quit this page and we can finally reinstall macOS. So select Reinstall macOS and continue. On the recording date, we were on macOS Mojave. Just hit continue. Now the error I had is because I'm not connected on the internet. Why is this important? Because your Mac will download the latest version available from the Apple server. Like that, if the trouble you had was a trouble in your image installation, it will be replaced. So if the computer is not able to connect to the internet like it was few minutes ago, it's because we just erase everything. If your computer is connected with a wire, you won't need to do this. So before we go further, we will reconnect to the Wi-Fi. So how do we do that from here? The same way as when you normally use your Mac. Reach the Wi-Fi logo in the upper right corner and find your network. Yup, my network is Turtle. Yours is probably different. Now enter your password and if you forget it, there is a video on the upper right corner just for you. Or you may find it just under your router. Most people or companies leave the default password there. Now we get back and reinstall macOS, hit continue and accept the license. And yes, you have to accept it twice. 
Select your disk, very easy choice, that's the only one available. Finally, you only have to wait. Now it's say 17 minutes, but trust me, it will be way more longer than that. Be ready to wait between 1 and 3 hours. After that, your computer will reboot the same way as when you buy it. Now if you want to know what I do when I first boot up my Mac, see the video on the upper right corner. So this is it, thank you for watching, I hope it helps, if yes please make a thumbs up, if you have any question please ask in the comment below, I may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you. So don't forget to subscribe and what you do see back there it's from my main channel, so please come take a look at this, right there. Thank you for watching again, see ya!